and welcome back, folks, to another episode of Jamin's Daily. Today, we're going to bring you another sweet treat of Ancient Aliens, our video series. We um, teased in the last episode with uh, executive producer Seth Kaler as a guest, and we kind of utilized, put in some video. But today, we are going to look into the pyramids in or of Antarctica. Antarctica. The pyramids of Antarctica. And without further ado, let me just let you know, folks, that this podcast is being brought to you by Wondersome Insurance. Wondersome Insurance. Give them a call. 361-444-5560. Find us on Facebook. Okay, folks. Right when you go to Jamin's Daily, you like and share. You go to Wondersome Insurance, like and share all those good things on Facebook. Folks, without further ado, let's look into Pyramids of Antarctica. Let's have a look and let's see what uh, what people are talking about. Let's see here. While it may seem unthinkable that pyramids could exist in Antarctica, in recent years, archaeologists have found pyramids all over the world that had been lost for centuries. So you see, folks, what they're saying is there are pyramids all on every single continent, continent on Earth. P pyramids on every continent. Why not? Why not Antarctica? Please mistaken tell me why. as natural formations, or hidden in the most unlikely places. They have been discovered in the plains of northern Peru. There we go, Peru. Buried beneath dirt and rubble in Indonesia. Indonesia. And one may even exist in Los Angeles, California. Could it be? All the way around the world, we find evidence of pyramid structures. We should start looking at the possibility that there was habitation on Antarctica. And folks, I believe there was, according to ancient alien theory, folks, they are lost civilizations. There are ancient civilizations that have been lost to us. Human, uh, intelligent human, uh, advanced human life could have perhaps been around prior to 10,000 years ago, prior to what we know now, when man had to restart the primitive man. Prior to that, who knows? This is where we get into the pyramids of Antarctica because years ago, millions or maybe even just hundreds of thousands. But now what they're saying, you're going to see on the clip, they're saying, you know, now scientists believe perhaps that the Ice Age and uh, climate change can change more ab abruptly faster. So the, the ice... The glaciers in Antarctica could have been melted or could have, there could have been land, you could have been living there possibly not a million years ago, but maybe 40,000 years ago, there, there was much less or, or no ice on Antarctica. And that's where these ancient civilizations built some pyramids. But then the ice age comes in, the polar caps freeze over again. And now you have all this evidence of life you know, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of feet under ice, never going to find it until the polar caps melt and then we'll, we'll see them again. But until then we can only speculate. Let's see what happens and see what they keep talking about. Was it a lost civilization? Could it be ancient astronauts? And just maybe the earliest monuments of our own civilization came originally from Antarctica. If this gigantic pyramid in Antarctica is an artificial structure, it would probably be the oldest pyramid on our planet. And in fact, it might be the master pyramid that all the other pyramids on planet Earth were designed uh, to, to look like. So we know that there's pyramids all over the place. One of the ancient mysteries of the pyramids on earth is that they're all somewhat, they're similar in their design. Some of them that are thousands of miles away from each other 
have very similar, not just the fact that it's a triangular, triangular shape pyramid, but even the art deco, the different um, designs and what ancient alien theory says is that it, it appears as though these um, ancient man, people living many, 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 many years ago, even thousands of years, a, a thousand, th uh, hundreds of years apart in some cases, and then thousands of miles away, did they independently come up with the same type of building designs to build and they build the same stuff. Is it possibly because they had the same teacher? They had the same ancient aliens who came and brought knowledge and showed them how to, they gave them the blueprints. Okay. Could this be? Possibly. And if it happened all over the world, why not in Antarctica as well? There has been extensive research done on pyramids throughout the world in terms of their structure and what it is that they really are. And one of the theories is that pyramids are power generators. And so if you have these pyramids strategically placed around the world generating this charge, it's possible to create a general standing wave around the world that is basically a wireless transmission of energy. Now, there is a specific ancient alien episode that goes into a whole 45 minute episode that goes into pyramids as power generators or, or some type of power source, um, like some type of electrical nuclear plant, okay, that generates power and that that's what their purpose was that's what they were built for that somehow these harness the some type of energy throughout the world just like this this person was saying and there's more details that we would have to do a, a whole episode just to that so if you think that's an inter interesting topic hey send me an email at jamensdaily at gmail.com perhaps comment on in the comments and say hey jamin do go more in depth on the pyramids as power generators or something else. I don't know. Let me know. I'd be happy to know and be happy to uh, entertain any one of these um, interesting ancient alien topics. Like there's one that I was thinking about doing next. It's on Bigfoot. Then there's one on Atlantis. There's just so many. I mean, sky's the limit right now. Pyramids in Antarctica. Could there be some? I think there could be. It's been theorized that ancient ships, extraterrestrials, and those with high technology could use this interconnected wireless energy system to navigate around the planet. And it makes sense that if there was some kind of worldwide pyramid power grid like this, that Antarctica would have pyramids as well. The whole idea of these pyramidal structures, where did it come from? It's not an arbitrary thing. And these structures, they exist worldwide. So, you know, what was the impetus? What's the origin? And even more fascinating, did they originate on the Antarctic continent? There's our boy Giorgio making an appearance, talking about pyramids in Antarctica. But the whole, the logic is that they're all over the place. Why not in Antarctica? And if we're constantly finding um, in the archeolo archeological records we're finding and they're digging up perhaps um, older and older civilizations, you know, we're having to rewrite the history books because we're finding uh, like a, uh, the uh, uh, Telpe. Oh, man, I don't know the word. I'm gonna have to look it up. But there's like this place in Turkey that they say is like twelve thousand years old. It's way older than the Egyptians. All right. So why can't there be something that was twenty or thirty years old, thirty thousand years old, and it was in Antarctica? I think it could happen. Again, I think uh, climate change due to not humans changing it, but just who knows what happens? We have no control over it. The, the, the climate changed much quicker. Again, a guy, um, Randall Graham, I think on Joe Rogan, he's a 
geologist says that now there's a lot of evidence that these these massive changes in the geography and topography happened much quicker. And so I do believe that there could have been civilization and pyramids built on Antarctica tens of thousands of years ago. And we're just going to have to wait to, we're just going to have to buy more trucks, pump more, uh, burn more oil and gas, really heat up the earth to start some more climate change and heat global warming so that we can melt the polar caps so that we can find out. It, it, it may not be a bad idea. Who knows? When the, when the polar caps melt, there could be the secret to all our wild dreams could be underneath the polar caps in Antarctica. I mean, who knows? Again, it could melt and then there's Atlantis paved in gold, right? All kinds of artifacts that teach us all the mysteries of the world and then everything's solved. You never know. It could happen. Might the pyramid Joseph White claims to have discovered near the Shackleton mountain range and other pyramid-shaped formations recently photographed in Antarctica provide evidence of extraterrestrial visitation to our planet in the remote past? And if they looks are like actually man-made structures, how is such a thing even possible in a place that has been buried beneath the ice for over 12 million years? But has it? That's what the, the debate is now. Has it been buried for 12 million years? Uh, people, we're not so sure anymore. You can't just say that, I think. I mean, if you're a scientist and you know about these things, maybe you should send me an email at jamonsdaily at gmail.com or like and share, send some comments or something. But I don't know. When they say 12 million, why, why is it not 11? Where did they come up with 12? Why isn't it 10? Why isn't it 11.5? They're just picking numbers out of their butt, dude. They just, oh, it seems like a long time ago, 12, 12 million years. I don't know. I'm thinking they're having their, as things get technology or more discoveries are made, they can narrow it down. And so, I don't know. I don't think it's been 12 million years. I think it possibly could, have, could be shorter than that. According to ancient astronaut theorists, Antarctica may not have been a frozen continent for as long as mainstream yeah, scientists what suggest. And they say proof can be found by examining a 500-year-old map depicting exactly. the continent yeah. without any ice. How do you explain that? There was a map, folks at home, there was a map that was, um, I guess, created... 500 years ago, okay, we just uh, broke into the, um, into, oh, let's go back. I'm still working on how to fit, work this, guys. But long story short is that there's this map that's 500 years ago that shows Antarctica. Nobody even been to Antarctica until like the 1800s or something like that. So how did they know? Then when you lay it over, it's like super accurate as well. It, this, map, this map was created by somebody who either was given the knowledge to create the map or who made this map or was copying this map from a map that was created even, who knows, tens of thousands of years ago, again, when Antarctica had no ice. Not 12 million, not 5 million or even 1 million. It's probably more like 50,000 years. So let me know what you think. We're going to do some of these quick. So that, that was just a little video about um, perhaps pyramids in antarctica that we're that i covered real quick kind of talked opine and we're going to do a number of them on different topics maybe find one that people really like and then go maybe do a deep dive on one so this one was uh, pyramids in antarctica the next one i think we're going to do uh, is uh, the hunt for atlantis kind of look at that and then perhaps do another another and then if we really find one that we like we'll do a deep dive on it even more so just like i said with the pyramids as generators power generators there's a whole hour show on just that alone that we could uh, go over and and talk about and have fun with folks so don't don't forget 
ancient aliens an ancient alien theory that's what we're going to be covering on jamin's daily uh as a, a little pet pet project a little pet project uh, and topic that i find interesting and that i'm really um into and if you like it let me know folks until the next time Stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Don't forget, this podcast is brought to you by Wondersome Insurance. You can give us a call at 361-444-5560. You can go to wondersomeinsurance.com. Um, and don't forget, there might be pyramids in Antarctica. So until the next time, the best is yet to come. Have a great day.